Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's your guy, Dave Neal, Power Recapper, preparing for the next season of Bachelorette. Katie Thurston season premieres Monday, June 7th. We'll be all over at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Free episode live stream, so catch that on the East Coast and then an after episode live stream as well. Plenty of content. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And we've got some Kelly Flanagan news. Kelly Flanagan, lawyer and influencer Kelly Flanagan. Here she is in Miami. Uh, so well, in this video, we're going to talk about some of the uh, questions and answering she's doing on her Instagram stories, one of which saying that she makes more as an influencer than she does as a lawyer. We'll discuss those numbers. And also Kelly mentioning she's going to Mexico. She says it's not for Bachelor in Paradise. Of course, right now, everyone's wondering if you're an alumni from the Bachelor franchise. Everyone's wondering, are you going to be on Bachelor in Paradise? They're going to begin filming as soon as this week, I believe. Uh, David Spade uh, set to be the new or one of the new hosts of Bachelor in Paradise as Chris Harrison still stepping aside still hanging out in Texas uh, with Brian Friedman power attorney there to sue the lever uh, the ever living uh, piss out of Bachelor producers if they end up letting him go he's gonna get paid you know who's not gonna get paid the contestants that go on Bachelor in Paradise uh, Dean Unglert had mentioned they're offered $400 a day to film, which doesn't seem like it's a bad deal, except you realize they can use that footage in perpetuity. It'd be interesting to see if a lawyer like Kelly would sign away that contract. But here she is on a boat. She's, I think she's on a boat. She's on a boat. And this is what I love about, um, about nice boat photography. You got to do the long legs here. But what they do, and as, a photo as an amateur photographer, I'll tell you, what they've got going on here is a wide angle lens. When you do a wide angle lens, the center of the shot looks normal, but the fringes become distorted. And this is nice for, uh, for full body photography because ladies like it because it extends their features and makes them look longer. But in some cases like this one, it actually makes your feet look really big. So you might not have noticed, and I'm not much of a toe guy, but if I were, I'd tell you that um, you might not have noticed uh, that she had big feet until you actually look at the photo and then start looking at the toes. The feet actually get bigger the more you look at it. Just, just some food for thought there. All right, folks, let's move it along. So let's go to her Instagram stories and just bear with me here. We're going to barrel through a few of them. Let's start on slide four. Um, she's doing a Q&A on five here. She's doing a Q&A. So let's play a couple of these. We'll hear her talk about Bachelor in Paradise. Any clues to whether or not she's going and how much she's been making? I'm not a big crier. I don't cry that often. So when I do, um, it's a pretty big deal. Last time I cried was leaving the airport with Kelsey. Um, brought a couple of tears to my eyes. I was the crier. <laughs> Crying with Kelsey. I've been going for hours about this, and I actually might do a YouTube video about it, but I... Let's go with that. She's lost weight because she had a bacterial infection. No one needs to know that. When was the last time you had a flight with a sibling? Today. So she's flying with her sibling. But she says she's flying with a sibling, but I... She's actually flying with her brothers, bow and arrow. So yeah. never mess with a lady who's got uh, uh, primitive uh, uh, murdering technology. <laughs> you never want someone to uh, fly with a bow and arrow. How do you get that on the plane? I'm sure, I'm sure that requires like a nice escort there. We got the parents' puppy. Okay, moving it along. Very nice. Um, how do you miss both, privacy? Okay, here we go. How do you miss your privacy or do you like being in the public eye? Let's see what she has to say. Highs are really high, but the lows are really low. Um, you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes. But at the end of the day, you can only strive to be a good person because whatever you're doing is going to come out. And then that's where you deal with people ridiculing you. So just try to be a good person. Can we get an update on your mom's car situation? No one cares about that. No offense to your car, mom's car, but... Uh, oh, just to explain a little bit more... Uh, more mom content. All right, you guys can go check out her Instagram for the mom content. I'm, I, my I'm mom's here. name's Connie, too. Love a good constant, says a mom. But we're just not here to see it. We're here to get the dish. What skincare items do you recommend? Doing an Amazon Live, okay? So she's going to be shilling some skincare products. Okay, some more of that. She likes it. They, they only do a Q&A when they have something to promote. They're like, let's do a Q&A. And then all of a sudden they're like, let's talk about Avocare. And you're like, what? Was this a Q&A or a pyramid scheme? What are we doing over here? <laughs> oh, geez. Very loud. So loud, like I said, there we go. So we got a code. Uh, do you make more? Okay. This was the question that, uh, g uh, that uh, garnered some attention. Is that the right word? Uh, do you make more as an influencer than a lawyer? She said, yep. So I'm assuming um, it was a yes or no question, but she still, she said, yep. She makes more as an influencer than a lawyer, which we have to assume at her. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that once we finish these slides here. But Jason Tartik on his podcast said how much he makes, and he has the same following size as Kelly. So we'll say how much that is in one second. So then what is that? Your favorite uh, perfume, Pegasus. 
Uh, <laughs> that's funny. That's the uh, that's the old mission. Peg assist. You know what I mean? That was Peter's uh, mo. Look at Pegasus. All right, uh, stepsis. Look at Pegasus stepsis. All right, sorry, I'm trying to stop that there. Uh, The question is, boy, I can't even read this. Can you guys, thinking about going to law school, any tips? Do you regret it? She's like, no, go to law school, uh, work for your family's law firm, then besmirch the family's name, go on a dating show, get kicked off, and then make more as an influencer. I mean, honestly, if that's not the American dream, I don't know what is. If you live in our country, you get a second graduate degree, and then you go bump a Harrison in a windmill, and you'll be okay in life. Hey, do whatever you got to do. Make your money. No shame in the game. So uh, she, someone said, how's your love life? And she said, going to Mexico in two weeks. Of course, uh, we have our, our clocks set for two weeks from now. Will that mean she's in Bachelor in Paradise? I mean, Kelly Flanagan would be a fantastic choice for Bachelor in Paradise. She would. She's in the news. I'll tell you from my own videos, she's one of the high, most highest search people on my channel right now after calling out Peter Weber and their drama back and forth. Absolutely. I'll just tell you what, if you're going, here's my advice to Kelly. If you're going to go to Bachelor in Paradise, don't fly United. And it's not because I don't love United, but Peter's working for United now, and it would be a little weird if he's like, uh, this is your captain speaking. And she's like, quit mansplaining to me. He's like, please put your seatbelt on. She's like, you're doing it again. He's like, all right, there's no smoking in the cabin. She's like, you're straight white male. I'll do what I want. All right, I digress here. Uh... I like Peter. I do. I like them. I like them. I like them both in the type of way where like if you're a parent and you have kids that hate each other, but they're each kind of doing their own thing. You're like, all right, they can fend for themselves. They'll be all right. Peter, Kelly, you'll both be all right. And I'm here to watch you guys have a cat fight. Uh, Pegasus. There's pr- maybe she needs to Pegasus. Maybe she needs to flip sides over there. You know what I mean? Why not? Um, uh, do do do. That's not a good one. Uh, what was your favorite class in law school? You're going on Bachelor in Paradise. So this is her answer. This is her answer to going on Bachelor in Paradise. Now, she denies it, but she could deny it for plenty of reasons. Maybe she didn't sign the contract yet. Maybe they're not calling it Bachelor in Paradise. There could be a million reasons why she's denying it, but this is what she has to say about that. No, I'm not. I'm just going to Mexico. And I like a good, um, okay, so she's just going to Mexico, she says. All right, that's what they always say till they come back with a, uh, you know, bacterial infection and, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, need to go get an abortion. Don't go to Texas. Uh, Make it quick. All right. (laughs) Isn't that wild? There hasn't been one um, abortion that we know of from Bachelor Nation from Fantasy Suites or I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not wild. What do I know, folks? Or even like one knocked up. Like, you know, wouldn't that be nice? You know, I know Jason Tartik said that him and, and I'll make a video about this, but him and Caitlin Bristow are like literally going to be trying to have a baby on their honeymoon. They are like ready to go. Hey, good for them. You know what I mean? Put one past the goalie, if you know what I mean. That's a hockey reference. So Kelly's over here. Kelly says she makes more as an influencer than she does as a lawyer and you know it just goes to show uh how much money can be made when you have an equity in your brand when you have a following uh you can't hate the player you can hate the game i mean people you know it, it goes to show how much corporations were spending on commercials like i work i'm, a, I'm an actor I, i'm in the screen actors guild only a couple of years ago if you did one national commercial sometimes you could buy a home from that if it was like a pharmaceutical commercial or like a big national commercial you could buy a home and in today's world they just don't have the media spending for that commercials don't last as long as they used to cuz every 13 weeks they have to repay for the commercial so it used to be there'd be like one commercial a year and that commercial would run over and over so the actor would make that same commercial bank every 13 weeks and in today's world it's easier to shoot things and a flip a quicker turnaround and a faster media schedule they just don't make as much money but influencers do because they say well we can pay you a tenth of the cost we'll get just as much out of it with a fan base and a following and you can shoot it edit it and do it all by yourself so absolutely these influencers make a lot so Kelly's got 820 25,000 followers. Let's see what Jason has. Jason Tartik, she's got 825. Jason Tartik has um, 864. Let's just say they're equal. Um, It's been said that women make more than men as influencers, uh, especially in this market because it's a female-based market and they're advertising more to women, skincare products, things like that. So assuming that, uh, Peter, uh, J- Jason says he makes four to six hundred thousand dollars a year as an influencer. So I think it's safe to say if she's maximizing her return on her following, she's making at least half a million dollars as an influencer. Some people don't like this, so they posted today. Uh, they said Kylie, but they mean Kelly. You know who knows uh, how much she makes as an influencer. And um, people said, um, uh, let's see what they said. Uh, uh, a lot of people are commenting on the wrong name. I'm a lawyer, and the difference is how long will Kelly be able to make lots of money as an influencer? Five to ten years max? 
burnout in the legal profession can't be too far off from that someone else says. Yeah, the legal profession has a high suicide rate, a high depression rate. I know this because a lot of lawyers become comics and that's the same cynical view on life, the same like, you know, it's it's a, you know, I, we've all been told it's a burnout. I can't speak for them because I'm not a lawyer, but uh, anecdotally speaking, that's what I hear. Uh, someone says it was her dad's firm, right? I suppose she could always go back to that. I don't think she even technically stopped. It sounds like she just reduced hours, maybe. I wonder if lawyers need to get a certain number of practicing hours in a certain time span to stay licensed. I'm a registered nurse and need 1,125 hours over five years to maintain my active practice registration. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. You need a little bit of a thing. I'm a lawyer and I've never heard of a state bar requiring something like that. I mean, yeah, look at Ru- look at Rudy Giuliani. He's been a lawyer since uh, you know before like lawyers existed. He's uh, he's old as dirt and he's still a lawyer. Um, and if and if he doesn't lose his bar, like if he doesn't have to go and lose his like law, his license, you know, over all the ethics of his baloney, then I don't think anyone will. Someone said this isn't surprising to me at all. Lawyers in big law are compensated very well: two hundred thousand entry salary plus bonuses if you hit billable hours goals plus salary, and bonuses typically increase every year. Listen, guys, the only thing I know about the law world is 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 three things. I worked on Law and Order. <laughs> I worked on The Good Wife, and I worked on the, the, uh, the Suits. Yes, that's right. I worked on the pilot for Suits, which means I did meet the uh, pr- the uh, prin- princess, uh, what's her name? You know what I mean? <laughs> the Prince Harry's, uh, Meghan Markle. Yeah, she was, not, I tried to hit on her. I was like, hey, how you doing? We're going to get lunch after this. She was like, no bueno. She didn't. All right. So, um, so yeah, they can make a couple hundred thousand, but that's the deal. They're doing that working 17-hour days. My buddy, was a, who's a comic now, was a lawyer in New York City, and they had a hotel room that they just like, always had 24 seven for lawyers so they could sleep at the hotel room and take shifts in between working nonstop. I mean, it's an insane business. So if you can make money traveling, doing what you want, shilling a few products, absolutely. Absolutely. We can't judge people for accepting that. What we should be doing is judging the employers who just break off breadcrumbs for the employees. Cause you think that you think that the, uh, the, uh, you know, the law firms with the, you know, the partners are making that. No, they're making a ton. Don't rent out your time is the, is the, is the uh, answer to all that. So said the influencer money sounds really good. Downside is your mental health will likely take a big nosedive dealing with millions of people putting you under a microscope, misinterpreting your actions and sending you hate, whether warranted or not. I personally probably couldn't handle the spotlight uh, given my mental health struggles. Yeah. Attorney here, the law firm life in the justice system is also pretty toxic. Yeah. I can imagine the justice. I mean, imagine like like a, imagine being a public defender and you've got someone who's innocent, but you know you got to get them a plea deal because that's what the DA wants or whatever, and they got to admit to something they never did. Or imagine knowing your client's going to be put away when 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 they're actually innocent, or vice versa. I mean, I can't imagine. Or imagine imagine the fact that you you know you've got so many clients that you can't even properly. You know, like, you know, we, we, we think of lawyers as like this, these big wigs with these power cases, but in so many cases, they're bogged down by the legal system. And it's, I, I mean, it, I, it sounds like it's not a win. You know what I mean? Someone said, I work in software nine to five. So I was comparing influencers to my job. I am probably too protective of my privacy to be an influencer, but influencing probably can be more worth it than other jobs, depending on the person. I'll tell you what, I don't make as much as Kelly Flanagan. I'll tell you that much. And I work... Um, I would say about 60, at least 60 to 70 hours a week, uh, which is funny because Reddit has also called me lazy, which is fine. Do you, whatever you think I do, call me lazy, call me whatever. You think this hairline, uh, you know, does itself? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> castor oil. I use castor oil. Thank you for all the comments on the nice haircut. Yeah, but I, I don't, and I'm not complaining. I'm in gym shorts. I don't even have boxers on. We, uh, we're going uh, commando under the gym shorts here, folks. Too much info. You asked. No, you, no, you didn't. Uh, my husband and I, both attorneys, as in members of the state bar who don't practice, caution people that ask us not to go to law school. The legal profession is incredibly toxic with oppressive systems like misogyny and white supremacy, especially present and powerful. In many ways, we are successful graduates and that we are decades into well-regarded public interest careers and we have been able to pay back our loans without breaks or defaults, which is not true for a lot of our other practicing lawyers or law grads we know. But we have also enriched many banks with our loan interest and given credence to an overall corrupt, biased ju- justice system by being a part of it. I'm most proud of the limited change uh, change work I've been able to uh, to within these systems and the greater change work I've been able to do outside these systems. All right. 
Not every firm is like that. The huge ones with the bigger salaries, yes, but you can still earn quite a bit at smaller firms or working in-house with a lot less of the pressure cooker environment. And if you just like the work and don't care how much you get paid, there are a lot of different options in public interest. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's wild that a YouTuber can make more than a lawyer. But that's just the world we live in. Like I said, it's about building equity. It's about, it's about like, like there's a lot of people that work in sales that don't even have a high school degree. Sales doesn't care what your previous experience was. If you can put our product into people's hands, you can make a lot of money. I know people that make hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales that, you know, we're either felons and not to, not to shame a felon. A lot of people, you know, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother uh, system rigged against the common man. But I know plenty of people that make a ton of money because they work in sales and money talks. And if you work, that's this, that's the same reason why like HR doesn't pay anything because while it's very valuable to the company, they're like, ah, you know, and I, and I, listen, I worked in marketing and advertising. It's one of the lowest, my first job offer outside of college, which for $27,500, I turned it down because I was like, I can't live in Boston for $27,000. Like, it just can't be done. I ended up getting a, my first entry-level job at $30,000, which gave me $450. And this might be important for people who live outside the country or in other places to understand. I, with a business degree, to make $450 a week after taxes and all that in a major city is criminal. It's just criminal. You can't survive off of that. So I'll never judge people. I make more making YouTube videos than I ever made in the business world. What does that say about the fact that they maybe don't like to, uh, you know, be listened to authority? Absolutely. But who does? You know, it's almost like the people that suffer the most, and in, 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 in maybe I'm speaking to you, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm projecting, the people that suffer the most in the corporate world are the people that have the highest pain uh, ability to weather the pain and brutality of their bosses. The people that can just grind it down and just be, you know, be cubicle, you know, shackled to their cubes and just do what they're supposed to do. We all know, and this is why what's crazy with the pandemic, we all know after everyone started working from home that a 40 hour work week is ridiculous. Most people with a 40 hour work week, and leave a comment, let me know, could theoretically do their job in 12 hours. Most could. Most of the time you're sitting there. I know half you guys are watching my video right now. Hit the subscribe button, give it a like. I totally understand. But most people, can do the job in far less time. We're usually we're usually waiting for someone to stamp the papers or get back to an email. So what do we do? We do a couple laps around the office. We go talk to Tony in finance. We take a long lunch and have a whiskey. We're just hanging out. You show up to these jobs just to hang out. And it's like, what are we even doing? What are we even doing? So if you're having a midlife crisis or a three-eighths life crisis like I am, or whatever the case may be, just understand you're not alone. Don't rent out your time. And the more you can do to build who you are with whatever it is, selling courses online on your own platform, blogging, writing for Medium if you like to write. Someone just told me in a comment that they lost their job and they loved their job as a writer. Write for Medium. You're not going to get paid up front, but when you build that following, you're going to be worth more than you were ever worth to another corporation. Get out there, leap in the net will appear, do yourself a service, and take this economy, this late stage capitalism, for what it's worth, as a chance for you to push yourself off that ledge and show us all how you can fly. All right, that's it. That's my time. Uh, I am Dave Neal. You guys have a fantastic. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Plenty of content coming all day long. Bye bye now. If you're not putting in your pink slip today with this music playing, I don't know when you're going to do it, folks. <laughs> you get out there and you tell them how much you're really worth. And God bless all of you.